Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus and I'm joined by... Lara Nushame from Game Cooks. So you guys did a little bit of experimenting with virtual reality and released something to Steam, which yes. actually got a lot of traction. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, so we launched a game, it's called Highway Madness. It's actually our second game. The first game we launched was Vindicta. And as we were getting uh, ready to work on multiplayer in VR, we created sort of a side project, which turned out to be a lot of fun. It's kind of Frogger style for VR. And then we're like, since we enjoy playing it so much, let's just throw it for free on Steam and just that's that. So we did. And actually, after a few days, we decided to check just for the heck of it, like how many downloads it got. And we were shocked. Within a month, it got over almost close to 30,000 downloads on Steam. So after that, we decided, OK, we have to keep working on it. And we just pushed an update about two days ago that had like more content, more characters, uh, more gameplay. And uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's, it's been a ride for the past month. <laughs> So I don't know what Frogger is. Can oh, you okay. explain to me what yes. that is? So basically, I mean, more than Frogger, you can compare it to, people have compared it to Crossy Road, which is a game you have uh, characters crossing the road and avoiding incoming vehicles. That's one of the gameplays that you have, which was the first one when you first launched. So basically, you and your friends, it's multiplayer, uh, you're crossing the road, avoiding cars, and trying to beat the others to the finish line. Uh, each game has a set of runs that you play with the score that you achieve, and uh, the first person to reach the finish line wins. So we started off with that gameplay, but then we started adding more, like you have a shootout scene, and you have a one versus one, which is kind of uh, Western style, but modernized, uh, where you play against one character and the person to hit the other wins and yeah so it's just like keep adding new gameplays to the game and now you can actually in this new update you can actually invite your friends to play a private game in Steam which I think should really uh, add a lot to the game. So yes. how many players can play in total? It depends on what game you're playing so the one versus one obviously is one versus one uh, the running through the road is uh, four people uh, there's another as well where you're jumping on roof is up to six people so it depends what gameplay you choose and uh, and in, in some of them if you're alone you can actually still play because you'll have bots playing against you so as well also letting people enjoy it on their own so why do you think people were so fascinated by it is it because of the price is it because it's like an online co-op sort of multiplayer game I mean definitely the price made it easy for people because they can just download it and check it out they don't really have to worry but I think what really caught their attention is one is like road crossing and people love road crossing games <laughs> and simulating what it's like to cross the road and have a truck like come and hit you and you actually you jump back and the, the thing is the way we did it is the, the, the motion is so subtle that it doesn't give you motion sickness. People expected to have motion sickness and they did and it's using the arm swinging which we also had in Vindicta so that really was very smooth for players and I think because it's just silly fun. It's, it's a lot of fun and you get to play with other people, you get to talk to people, invite new people that you don't know to a game. So. How do you die if you if you get hit by a truck? You don't die. You, you don't die. No, you, you don't die. Back. Exactly. You get pushed back. You get slowed down. So people will beat you. And I mean, the the purpose is to uh, finish first. So, yeah. Um, how ah, there is sorry. There is one where you die, uh, which is the shootout where you have to shoot the player and he jumps up until he reaches the electrical fence and he dies and jumps back down. So yes, one of them you what? do die. Yes. You mean you jump? Why would you jump up to an electrical fence? No, so fence? because I'm shooting you, it throws you up. Oh, okay. And so you get thrown up to the electrical fence, you get electrocuted, then you die, you respawn, and the, the, the first person to have five kills wins. So you have several different gameplays, and each gameplay has different rules. So. That, yeah. sounds, that sounds like fun. I mean, all of them sound like a lot of fun. How are you planning to expand it? Will it be like it's sort of like own VR fun park thing? I suppose? Yes, I mean, uh, what we're, we have a lot of plans for new gameplays as well, like new game modes and uh, doing bigger and uh, longer arenas, adding more characters, more, uh, more small mini games or bigger games. I mean, the sky's the limit with this, so we'll see. I mean, the wackiest the idea, the more accepted it's going to be for us. Do you think that uh, players will have to pay like a little bit? To get no, we're going to keep it for keep free. It free. Yeah, we're going to keep it for free. I mean, for such a game, we really just want people. And it's not it's not something too complex to create. Uh, it's, 
it's all up to our own creativity and we just I mean we're, we're working on a new game right now which is going to be a premium game which we're launching at the end of the year more details coming soon uh, so for now this will still keep it as a project just for people to enjoy it as much as possible and to experiment and learn as well yeah right? exactly definitely fantastic is there a website that we can go uh, to it's I mean it's on Steam uh, they can find it on Twitter or Facebook under the Game Cooks uh, Facebook pages or Twitter page and yeah just Highway Madness on Steam how are you madness on Steam? Yes. Fantastic. Head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more about virtual reality. And I will see you there.